Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Lewis, I know your organization also has advocated for these types of networks. Do you want to add anything to that? Well, I certainly agree with uh, Mr. Chilo. Uh, the choice of different types of builds is important for local communities uh, so they can uh, take the risk that is appropriate to, to uh, their community's needs. Um, Let me ask you this, uh, Mr. Lewis. You talk about digital redlining in your testimony. How can legislation like the Accessible Affordable Internet for All Act, the Lift America Act, and the American Jobs Plan address digital redlining? I think if uh, the bill includes options for uh, the subsidies or the, that funding to go to local governments or local co-ops, uh, it can certainly also help with redlining. As Mr. Chilo said, those communities usually uh, are better at making sure that everyone is served because they live in those communities uh, or those government officials live in those communities. And so they would have an incentive to make sure that whatever is built is built to every neighbor. Ms. Cheney, uh, do you want to add anything to that? Sorry. Uh, no, I think the other witnesses answered it um, answered it appropriately. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me go back to Mr. Lewis then. In your testimony, you talked about the need for a permanent broadband benefit and the need for additional measures to increase affordability long term. Uh, do you think that we can close the digital divide over the long term if we, without addressing those issues? I'm concerned that we won't. Uh, the cost of broadband right now, uh, uh, just from what we see from the numbers of how many options that people have is really driven by monopoly or duopoly prices. Um, I think that uh, doing the work to uh, study the prices and the cost of broadband long-term uh, so that we can really determine the impact of the market um, and if that cost is actually affordable or if it's simply um, the cost that's going up and up based on uh, the choices of industry is, is crit critically important. We've already seen in the last few years a 20% rise uh, in broadband costs, uh, according to FCC data, that's far ahead of, of inflation. So these prices need to be studied.